2011 Mazda 3. Uh, we don't want to put a penny in there. Tools you're going to need is uh, Phillips. You're going to need a flathead. You're going to need one of these raised tool and 10 millimeters. First thing you want to do is open the door, of course. Then you have one Phillips here. Another one there, and another one there. Here you go. Oh. Alright, you need to get a little aggressive. And pop this cap off. So, pop the cap off. And that's your screw hole. Pick your screws up, and I'll get back to you. Screws loose. Then you want to grab this tool or a flathead and wedge it. Go ahead, wedge it and squeeze it. Work it all the way around the door. You have to put like that in there. Pop it out. If you work all the way around, grab the door. Lift up. Have to work it all the way around you and grab this door. We're gonna lift up on it. And uh, keep in mind, you still got this in here, and that's connected. So don't think you're just gonna rip it on off and get it away. Get it loose. Now you gotta wiggle that handle out of that hole. You got the handle out. Now you got this connector down here. Spin the door. Turn out the high This is the simple quick path for that uh, window over there. And then once you put a window, that's it. You're going to you have a series of 10 millimeter bolts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You take those off. And then uh, for your window regulator, you got a push button here, and then three, making it be 10 millimeters as well. And you'll take those off. Keep in mind that that is how your window rolls up and down. So when you take that off, your window will begin to roll down. You need that in order to get that out. When you take this off, I'll get back to you when I got it on. All right, so after you got all your screws off, come on, windows, go back to this tool. Oh, you got one. One of these right here. Go ahead and take that one off. Hang off. You just got this wire connection right here. Have this tool again. Come right here. Just Come right here and just connect. You have more space. Right, now you got that out the way. You got two more 10 millimeter bolts ahead. One's right there. And then the other one is behind here. screwdriver or something get up under there pop that tab out and then there it is right there so you disconnect those two and then this will be able to move freely at that point you're going to come back to this joint right here and spin it around and it will drop your window and then after you drop your window you're going to have to wiggle your this window out of this frame in order to get this out of there. So uh we'll do the 10 millimeter bolts. So uh, come in here. 
So I'm gonna do this one at an angle so you don't drop the bolt into the door. It's gonna be hard to get it out. Boom, so now at this point, this bracket is free. So now I gotta wiggle this glass out of that bracket in order to get that bracket out. Okay, so now that, so now that I got this loose, I'll just take this right here, this my frame, put the rest of this window out. Let's put the glass. The rest of the window out. See, this frame came with it, right? So I'm gonna pull this frame out the door so that I can get the new one in. Don't spin. Okay, disconnect this track. Take the window, pull that down a little bit. Take it, slide it into the slot. Get it in. Make sure you have a nice seal on there. Make sure that's in the back. And then you stuff that back in. Like that, like that. Then you fit your other fixture in. This bracket, but that part goes at the bottom. This part goes at the top and it screws in like that. So, going over there. Switch the wires down. You're gonna feed it back in through the top. Boom, like that, all right? Make sure this is still out the way. Come up to the top, pull this out the way. Line that up into that slot, turn it. Get it into that slot. So you want to get slot, then you come down, line the bottom up. Boom. So you can make sure that this bracket is lined up. And then I'm ready to roll. I'll be wise to bolt that in. Bolt that in. And then you come down to the bottom. Now it's time to get that glass and this trim back into the slot. So we'll start up here. I'll spin it all the way in there. The ceiling part. Get into that corner. And I'll work your way down. When you get into the door down, that's where it's going to get a little tricky. That's when you're going to have to actually go around to the other side, stick a hand through holes, fingers, flatheads. You can do what it do to get that all the way through. This glass is going to be in the way, so you're going to have to maneuver it here and there. In order to do what you gotta do, it's probably best to get a big breaker bar and send it all the way down. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a breaker bar and send it all the way down. Not a breaker bar, but a flathead. All right, so after you run this down through the main, through the outside, you wanna come around to, you run it in through the inside. Wedge it on here, wedge it on the other side, come around on the outside, and then fix the seal and then spin it onto the window seal. You'll already have your window in this bracket right here. And then just spin it into the window seal. And after you spin it into the window seal, then it should lock it into place and just fix the seal up here. Fix the seal at the bottom. Reconnect your regulator and uh, make sure it's adjusted. Might have to adjust my, just fucking with it. Then, um, Put it all back together. Don't so, forget to put your thing back on the door when it popped up. But, uh, that's pretty much it. All right, so I found it easier to mount the regulator screws first. The window bracket is in my window to test the next steps. Then set it in place, and then put the bolts in. You got a uh, 10 millimeters, and then the one push screw. Then reconnect your window adjuster and push your door back on replace your two screws one will go there then the other one will go uh there